Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Ator. I have done MD in forensic medicine and today we will discuss about delivery. By definition, delivery refers to birth of a child on completion of 20 days of pregnancy that is the full term delivery. So this is 20 days is approximate uh, period of gestation which is average of 20 days is present. If the delivery occurs earlier than 20 days, it is called as premature delivery. If it is occurs after 20 days, it is usually called as whole match delivery. So this case of case of delivery becomes important in certain cases like legitimacy, paternity, and we'll discuss about it later slides. So we have to know whether uh, the woman which uh, which she claims to have delivered, uh, whether she has delivered or not. So signs of delivery could be recent signs where the delivery has occurred just within one uh, one week, or it may occur, it may be signs of remote signs which are seen after a month or two months. Again, it may vary in the whether it is whether it is the signs are seen in the living or dead. In the living, first we'll discuss about the symptoms which are seen in a recent delivery in living. Recent delivery means within one week of delivery, the changes will be prominent. First of all, immediately after delivery, the woman will be of indisposition and she'll be fatigued. There will be diuresis that is unable to pass urine for two to two to five days. There will be loss of weight since she has delivered, so it will be severe loss of weight will be present. There may be some contractions from the uterus may be present. After pains will be seen after delivery, usually seen in normal delivery. They, sometimes there may be rising temperature for first 24 hours after delivery, which is uh, around 101, 1.1 degree Fahrenheit. There may be sometimes a woman may undergo a uh, transient de depression, sometimes which is also called as puerperal psychosis, where she may, may not feed her child or she may be very angry against the child also. These are few symptoms which are seen. Now coming to signs in the recent delivery. Again, within one week, the changes will be uh, apparent after delivery. So these changes in, can be divided into first into breast changes. So breast changes will be, it will be voluminous and pendulous in shape. Colostrum that is the first milk excreted from the uh, breast will be present and maybe a, may a colostrum may be expressed. Areola will be dark, nipple will be enlarged, and superficial will be, will be prominent. Since the milk position will be in higher concentration, the veins becomes permanent. Then multiple tubercles are also becomes permanent. In abdomen, if the woman uh, has delivered normal delivery, then there will be no scar mark. If it is a cesarean section, then there will be scar, uh, scar uh, or suturing will be present. So, abdominal valve will be pendulous, wrinkled with stray gravidinum, linear nigra. Again, these two are usually present in prayer. So, it is also a sign of pregnancy. This will be also seen in the delivery cases. And if she is the cesarean delivery, then there will be suture mass, sutures will be present. In the perineum, if the woman has delivered normally, then there will be rupture of forchette, posterior commissure uh, will be ruptured. They may with or without a suture incision of episotomy. So episotomy is nothing but an incision taken in the vagina for uh, facilitating the normal delivery. And this is only seen in case of normal delivery. If she has delivered a scission, it will not episotomy will not be present. In vagina, again it will be purple hue in color. The rugus will be lost, relaxed, spacious, and may show recent tears. Again, these are signs typically seen in case of normal delivery where the delivery occurs through the vagina. So because of delivery, the diversity of vagina will be lost. It will become spacious and it may show recent tears will be seen. If the woman has delivered caesarean, then these signs will not be prominent. Again, in labia majora and menora, in case of normal delivery, it will be tender, swollen and gaping and congested. Since it is a normal delivery, the, again, it, the majora will be gaping in size. It will not be approximated and it will be congested. Cervix. <coughs> It will be soft, collapsed, and congested. External shows transverse laceration of its outer margins and admits two fingers easily. Again, this will be seen again in case of normal delivery only, where if the woman has delivered through vaginal route, if it is caesarean, then this has will not be present. At the end of one week, the cervix admits one finger with difficulty and become come back to normal within two weeks. The external which is which can admit up to one to one or two fingers, it becomes slowly abbreviated and it will not allow any finger to pass, usually seen in the case of normal delivery. Coming to uterus, the, again it which uh, this is this is we are discussing the living. So we'll palpate uh, we can palpate the abdomen and see the level of the uterus. 
So you use upper part of the uterus will usually lie between 4 to 7 centimeters below the umbilicus or about 30 centimeters, 13 centimeters from the symphysis pubis. It will be seen at the first day of, after delivery, it will be at that level. After that, the fundus will be between the umbilicus and symphysis pubis at 6 day, when it is steadily will decrease by about 1.25 to 5 centimeters per day. So as the day progresses, the size of the uterus decreases in size and we can palpate the uterus uh, up to two weeks it will descend up to two weeks it can be it will be within the pelvis for up to two weeks and if you reach the talus size that is before delivery size it will reach by six to eight weeks these are signs which can be appreciated in the living then laboratory investigation hypnological tests which are which are tested for the pregnancy will also will be positive for about seven to ten days after delivery also they will be can be it will be positive then lochia so lochia will be typically seen in, in case uh, even it is seen in the normal has been season delivery this is pos positively seen in case of uh, any case of delivery cases so, lochia is nothing but alkaline discharge from uterus cervix angina with peculiar disagreeable fishy odor so, this is the typical excretion uh, exudate from the uterus discharge from the uterus and it will be excreted from the, uh, it will be seen in the vaginal or uh, vaginal or, and it has a peculiar disagreeable fishy odor. It lasts for two to three weeks after delivery and based on the color, they are they divided into three types, Lokia, Rubra, Serosa and Alba and they are also uh, secreted as the day progresses. So for one to four days, Lokia, Rubra will be discharged. Is bright red in color since it consists mostly of uh, RBCs, so it will be bright red in color. Lochia cirrhosa will be five to nine days. It is watery and pale. It consists of leukocytes and bacteria. Uh, will be consist mainly of that. Then Lochia alba, which which is seen up to 10 to 15 days, is scanty, thicker, grayish yellow in color, and then it becomes whitish in color. Again, this consists mainly of leukocytes and other cells. Other discharge will be present. So these are three types of lochia which will be discharged from the uterus after delivery. This will be present even in uh, even living animals. It can be seen in there, there also. Now coming to signs of recent delivery in dead. So in, in cases of women having uh, abortion or criminal abortion, or in cases a woman has delivered in villages, sometimes uh, this uh, normal delivery may miss happen and woman may die because of. Uh, during the labor. So in that cases you have to know whether the there was any signs of delivery was there or woman was killed or murdered and claimed that one was died because of delivery. Sometimes the one may be killed and it may be brought to the uh, hospital claiming that she delivered and during delivery she died. So you have to confirm whether the woman was uh, had delivery was not was there or not. So all the local signs of delivery were present so which we had discussed like Changes in the breast, uterus size, abdominal, stray, gravidarm, and labia, majora, everything, signs which are discussed will be present. Size of the uterus after dissection will vary with the time and delivery at which the death has occurred based on the position of the uterus, uter day, time of the delivery, the size and uterus weight will be different. The ovaries and fallopian tubes are congested, becomes normal in few days. A large corpus luteum is present in one of the ovaries. So these are the few signs, uh, recent uh, delivery signs will be seen in the dead. So this will be appreciated in the within few, few, few days. Lochia, change the vagina, which will be seen in living as well as dead. Now, signs which are present in both the living as well as dead, like engorged breast, pink stray and abdomen, enlarged uterus, fresh taste of vulva, vagina and cervix, and lochia from the uterus. These are all seen both in the living as well as in case if the woman is dead. Now coming to signs of remote delivery in living. So remote means if she has uh, delivered after few weeks. So like two to three weeks, two to three weeks after delivery uh, changes. What other uh, signs will be can, which can be appreciated? After that, only signs which may be post delivery is present is the appearance of internal nerves. So in usually in the cervical uterus, the uh, cervix has internal nerves and the, uh, external nerves. So internal nerves and this is the external nerves and this is the internal nerves. So this internal nerves is uh, usually obliterated in case of delivery. So in, in delivery, this will be not be appreciated since uh, because of 
pregnancy the intranos will be uh, will not be appreciated so after delivery the intranos will start to appear and the intranos will be can be seen so this indicates that the 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 uterus has been returned to its normal state so this is only appearance that there will be uh, the uterus has normal become normal and there is a chance that the delivery was remote breast will be flabby dark areola with motility tubercles will be seen nipples will be prominent and it's stay so usually she will be, she may be having breast feeding in leaving so there will be presence of flab it will become flabby in color tubercles will be prominent nipples will be prominent with white stray abdominal wall will lack loose presence of stray gravidinum linea alba will be present perineum will be lack old scarring from previous perineal lacerations if present like in case of normal delivery laceration or pseudotomy sutures will be seen if it is not then it will not be seen if the it is cesarean then uh, old such uh, scar mark of cesarean will be present in the abdomen intraitus it will be gaping labia majora and will be not in the close observation labia minora is pigmented and putted out so usually is because of normal delivery it starts to gaping uterine wall will be less rigid contour of uterus is broad round rather than ovoid so uterine wall will be uh, contour will be less broad and rounded rounded and appears rather than the ovoid appears rather than ovoid it will be rounded appearance vagina will be loose with loss of rigidity again in case of normal delivery it will be appreciated by cervix will be cylindrical external os is transverse so if we take a external os of uh, cervix it will be transverse since it will be seen compared to normal paras uh, uh, cervix it will be circular it will patella slit and may admit up to tip of the finger it will be seen again it is seen in mainly many cases of mainly in cases of uh, normal delivery that it will be appreciable so now coming to signs of remote delivery in case of dead so again in dead cases most of the signs which are seen in the living remote signs of living which will also be seen in dead also addition to that we can differentiate uh, a few findings will be seen in the uterus which can differentiate from the nulliparous uterus so we can differentiate nulliparous uterus and the parous uterus and based on that only you can tell that there are uh, that she a woman may have delivered a child so this differences uh, difference include first of all uh, size it will be larger in size compared to para nulli uh, nulliparous uterus it will weigh about 80 to 100 gram compared to 40 to 50 gram that the double the weight of uh, normal uh, nulliparous uterus it will be present then length of the uterus the body of cervix will be of same length in nulliparous the body because twice the length of the cervix so usually the cervix which is uh, is seen it will be uh, same size but in uh, paras woman it will come to the same size it will be same it will be of same size then external os so external os that is the cervix outlet it will be a small dimple like in the nulli uh, paras and it becomes transverse patellus in the appearance in the case of uh, uh, that is the uh, paras uterus then internal os it will be circular and well defined it will be well defined and margins will be wrinkled again if we take a transverse section the this will be external os the internal os will be more prominent in the circular in the paranulli paras it becomes ill defined margins will be wrinkled in case of paras uterus now coming to shape of the cervix it will be conical in shape and it will be cylindrical in shape so it will be conical in uh, nulli paras it will be uh, cylindrical in shape in paras uterus then upper surface fundus so upper surface of the fundus so usually the normal cervix it will be transverse and it will be uh, it will be uh, transverse and less convex and is same line as brown ligament so upper part that is fundus upper surface of the fundus will be less convex and it is same as the that of the brown ligament which is seen in the nulli paras but in case of uh, paras woman the it will becomes more convex and higher higher than the one of the broad ligament it will becomes convex in shape internal cavity the inner wall will be less convex so if it's seen in the nulli paras the inner wall will be less convex it will be straighter in appearance smaller and triangular in cavity it will be triangular in cavity but in paras it becomes inner wall become concave there will be depression and it will be look like a circular in rounded cavity it will be present then arbor vitae so arbor vitae are nothing but the mucosal force which are seen inside the external on the internal between external and internal of cervix 
that are present in nulli paras they become uh, disappears in the paras so it becomes smoother in appearance in the paras uterus it's then scar of placenta attachment will be absent in the nulli paras but it will be present in the paras uterus so these are the differences you can appreciate that in the remote delivery means after four to five weeks this signs will be can be seen that the 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 uterus which has delivered and the uterus which has not delivered so if the uterus has delivered a child this signs will be present lastly coming to medically importance of delivery so in certain cases we have to know whether the woman has delivered or not like cases like legitimacy where proper dispute will be seen so we have to know the child is legitimate child or not in that cases it will become important legal action of disputed chastity whether the woman is uh, has delivered or not previously if she had delivered then it will it will be nullify the ma marriage pinning of delivery where the woman sometimes may feel that she has delivered and take a uh, absence of leave uh, she may take absence of leave uh, feeling that she she is pregnant and she has delivered in cases in case of abortion and infanticide abortion mainly in case of criminal abortion some women may claim or there may be a there may be normally the woman may doubt it may died normal uh, because of murder and it may be claimed has the abortion side effect of abortion in that cases in case of infanticide also we have to know whether the which woman, woman has delivered or not sometimes a woman may bring a dead body from somebody and may claim she has delivered the child in that case also it becomes important then in cases of certain case of concealment of birth if where a woman may try to conceal a pregnancy and may deliver the child outside and sometimes husband may try to may confirm whether the, 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 there was a child birth was there or not in case of blackmail sometimes a woman may feign pregnancy for some some time and may produce uh, some child alleging to is it is her child such a child is usually called as fictitious child or supposed child to blackmail any person so she may try to feign that she has delivered a child and bring a child from someone else claiming that she has delivered a child of that person that is a supposed suppose it's also called a supposed child and she may try to blackmail that person man in case of affiliation cases where a woman may have some illicit sexual intimacy with some man may be, become pregnant and may deliver a child and then may sue him to claim the maintenance fees in that case also it has to be known whether she is delivered or not in these all cases signs of delivery has to be elicited and uh, confirmed that the woman has delivered these are my references thank you